I first came here when Lyndon Johnson was still president. It's a historical uh, reference. And uh, obviously, there has never been a session like this session. The number of reforms that have been set forth and worked through by both houses has been dramatic and is going to make a new Ohio. The work that was done, not just in the areas of taxation and so forth, those kinds of things that we know have to be done in order to attract business, but also respecting those in our society who do not have the advantages that many of us do. They are mentally ill, they are mentally retarded, they, all the folks that are not capable of helping themselves were helped in this legislation. There were not cuts, as there were in some states, on a wholesale basis into the very, very important area of those who I think 99% of Ohioans believe deserve to be helped. So as it went along, um, we had a lot of fun in our caucus, as you know, uh, Governor, <laughs> I'll tell you. We had some people who um, I think thought they were probably going to have to have uh, some sort of uh, brain surgery before the whole thing was over because of the size of, of the bills. Uh, I have wonderful chairman. I'm just blessed with the chairman that I have. And, and um, unlike some uh, sessions we've had, uh, I wasn't the only guy working on Saturday and Sunday. They were there. They were with me. They did wonderful work. And they had the same view that the governor did. Ohio needed to be reformed. It needed to be reformed in the most fundamental ways in a lot of things that had been accepted in the past. One of the ones that I'm proudest of is what happened to Ohio State's law enforcement arm. We have in the State Highway Patrol one of the most educated, dedicated groups of people that any state has. It reminded me of uh, a time that Alice and I, uh, my wife's a federal judge, and, and we were out in California and they were providing security through the highway patrol out there. And, and I went up and, and uh, showed uh, the gentleman, uh, he was about 6'8", I think, uh, who, uh, what kind of a uh, relationship I had with the patrol. And he said, you know, they're almost as good as we are. Well, I know the Ohio State Highway Patrol is better. It's the best in the country. Their undertaking of this drug mission is very, very important. We are at a, uh, an apex here of getting from uh, uh, New York to Chicago to Detroit and so forth and so on. So we are really spot on in the area of abuses of people. But of course, that's not the only thing we did. I, I was fortunate to be able to recruit uh, a young man from down in Scioto County uh, to come and down and, and to serve with us who put together a legitimate drug, a, a, an ethical drug bill, which has had tremendous impact, and rightly so. We had pill mills in this state that were dramatically bad. I used to compliment Governor Rhodes, uh, uh, I always attributed it to him, that Ohio was halfway between New York and Chicago. I was sure he'd had something to do with it, he'd been around long enough. And uh, the reason I mention that today is that was a great thing for the trucking industry and so forth, but today it's something that we have to be very conscious of so that the patrol can do the anti-drug work that they're doing and the work that they're doing in resisting one, uh, just a terrible situation with little girls being kidnapped and, and transported across state lines. Terrible. So it was, a, it was an amazing session. Uh, we had a lot of fun working with uh, uh, the President over in the Senate. Uh, obviously, we didn't agree on everything. I don't know why that happened, but uh, about 90%. This has been an absolutely incredible session. As I say, I've been here in, uh, let me see now, uh, I think it's right around 19 sessions. And this is without question the most meaningful the most reform-minded, the most enthused that I have seen the legislature and the legislative process. I think it has something to do with the man who is our governor. Tom?